Here's seven features on Steam you might not know about. All right, so first up, we got the FPS counter. So if you go over to Steam in the top left, go to settings, now select in-game, go down, you'll see in-game FPS counter. Just click this drop down menu. And now you can select where you want the FPS counter to be on screen. So in this case, I'll select top left and then you just hit okay. So essentially what this will do is now any Steam application you launch will have an FPS counter displayed at all times, wherever you set it to be. Next, if you go to the store tab and go down till you see stats, click on that. And this is a really cool page. So here you can basically find all top selling games, most played games, weekly top sellers, top new releases. It really has every stat you can think of. And for example, if you go to most played and see, see all 100 most played, this is currently in order by current players. You can even change it to daily players. I find this really helpful if you're looking for a new game and you want to see what other people are interested in right now. And this page is definitely where you're going to want to come. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to add non-Steam games to your library. So if you go to the Games tab up here, go down to you see Add a non-Steam game to my library. Click on it. And here you'll see a list of all your non-Steam games, obviously. And you can click whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to click OBS Studio add selected program. Now when you go to your library on Steam, you'll see that non-Steam game here. So essentially what this does is now you can launch this program from Steam if you would like. And also now your friends can see that you're playing this program even if it's not a Steam game. So while we're still in the library, I'll show you guys one more feature. If you go up and hit these four squares, you'll be brought to the collections page. From here, click create a new collection. You can name it whatever you would like. And from here, click Create Dynamic Collection. You'll be brought to this page, and essentially what this is, is a more advanced collection for your games. So, for example, I could collect sports, and it'll automatically put all my sports games into a folder for me. But the cool thing about this page that not a lot of people know is if you go to this Friends tab and enter in a friend's name, for example, I'll put my friend David, and once you click their name, it'll automatically put all the games they own that you also have. So this is really useful for you and your friend if you're both looking for a game to play that you both already own. So if you didn't know, when you play games on Steam, sometimes you get items from those games that go to your inventory. When you go to your inventory, you can view all the items you currently have, and some of them you can actually sell on the Steam Marketplace for real money. So an easy way of finding which items are actually sellable is by going to the Community tab, going to Market, and from here you just select sell an item and it will automatically filter all the items you can actually sell. When you click on an item and you scroll down, down here in the bottom right you can see what they're currently going for on the Steam Marketplace. Alright, so for this next feature go up to the top left, hit Steam, go to Settings, go down to the Downloads tab, and under Download Restrictions you can actually choose when you want your games to auto-update. So to do so just check this box and you can pick the time for when you want your games to auto-update. Then when you have your selected time, just hit OK. And for this final tip, I'm going to show you guys how to find games that are 100% off or just a really good sale price. So on the store page, go to Top Sellers, scroll down and select Games, go to the top and select Special Offers, go to Sort By, hit the drop down menu and go to Lowest Price. Now if there's any games that are 100% off, it'll show up here. Right now there currently isn't, but if there's no 100% free games, you'll still find some really good deals. That's all the features I have for you guys today. If you want to see some Steam games that are worth your money, click the video on screen now.